Hi everyone, my name is Tyler, and this is Aftertouch Audio. Today what I want to go ahead and do is actually break down one of our uh, recently released libraries, the AK-47. Now effectively what I'm showing you in this video is going to be, is going to be true across all of our libraries. They're all going to carry the same worldization uh, theme as that was the initial intent of sampling these libraries. So effectively, when we go ahead and sample these libraries, we have placed the microphones in such a way that there is very, very, very little reverb um, within the actual space. There's very little tail. We still captured tails with, with distant microphones and stuff like that, but the spot microphones themselves are so dry that you can replace them with any sort of tail that, that, that you would like. You can do an urban tail, an interior tail. Um, you, can, you, you can change the sound of this gun drastically just by swapping out that tail sample. And that is something that we absolutely wanted to have with our own gun library. So let's, ha let's go into Weaponizer and have a look at what we actually accomplished. Okay, so now that we're in Weaponizer, uh, we have a preset loaded up for AK-47. I, I, I use uh, Weaponizer quite a bit in trying to design gunshots and stuff like that, just so I can kind of get a feel on how the gun will actually sound and perform before I export it into the game. Now, it's not 100% exact, but at least I'm able to hear how the sound loops um, instead of just listen, listening to single shots all the time. We have five of our uh, shots loaded up in the onset layer, which is the mech layer. We have five of our shots loaded up in the, in the uh, body layer, which is our shot. And then we have uh, the tail sec. Each preset will come with one of these tails, uh, the, uh, and then I've just outfitted them with other tails from other libraries or some from uh, other games that we've done and stuff like that. So effectively you get one tail, but you can swap them out with any of the other tail that you would like, and we are constantly going ahead and sampling tails from other ranges and other places and spaces and stuff like that. So these are the tails that we captured on set and I, I'll, I'll play them with the tails and without the tails and you'll see how dry these sounds actually came out. And here it is without. You can see how absolutely dry these sounds are. There's like no reverb in them whatsoever. And that was the whole goal of sampling this. Because effectively now, I can change the entirety of where this gun is shot just by swapping up this one layer. And I'll demonstrate that right now. So we have our tails. How about we want to do a suppressed tail? What about a different exterior tail that's a little bit more booming and a lot more open field sounding? Now what about an interior tail? So effectively you can change the sound of these weapons drastically just by altering the tail sample. And you can do that with samples that you already own, samples that you purchase from other vendors, or from a tail pack that we will be releasing later on in the future where we sample tons of different environments and all that jazz. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the library as much as we enjoyed making them. Months upon months upon months of research went into just exactly where to place the microphones, what microphones to use, what microphones gave us that um, super nice uh, separation. And the beauty about these here is you can mix them to be whatever you want. Anyways, go make some noise.